Hello there guys, welcome back to the iFish in Guernsey. We've come over to Herm in the Channel Islands today. We've got Kieran with us, my cousin, and hopefully we'll get a few bass. So we're going to head over to the mark now guys, let's see if we can get some of these fish. So our guys are going to start with the Savage gear. Kieran's using the same layer as well, and hopefully we can get a few bass. Come on. Just looks too good not to catch. Yeah, you can't bit of swell in the water. There's got to be a bass in here. That's pretty bad. This is quite dry. It's bad down. It's slippery as well. <laughs> One day it will. That's the thing. You won't. It's certainly a drop. <laughs> Fish on, guys. Bass on, baby. Woo Just changed day. I was using the IMA lure. I've just changed over to the um, Savage Gear V2 boys and bang, we're in. <laughs> First bass of the session. Lovely job. First cast, but only a sh uh, schoolie. But it's better than nothing. Lovely first bass of the session, guys. Happy days. Get unhooked and get you a better shot. Beautiful. So, there <clears throat> you guys. First basil of the session. Only tiny, about half a pound. But well, we're fishing a boulder bed here. We've moved from place to place and we've had nothing. And the first chop of the Savage Gear, bang, happy days. So we get this one released, guys, and hopefully it gets on a bit bigger. That's foul to the Savage Gear V2. Crack and lure. Let's see if we get another. So, right, guys, good start to the uh, session. I was starting to panic a bit, we weren't going to find a bass. But yeah, beautiful. Get a nice little release of her. And off she goes. See the area we're fishing, guys. The big boulder bed. Nice tide running. And yeah, see if we can get a couple more. Come on, shiners. That's a welcome surprise, guys, that bass. So all we're fishing over is a big boulder bed here. And it's going to keep moving off as we go. I'll follow the fish, hopefully. Beautiful conditions. Dee -dee -dee. Come on, Mr. Basil. Dee -dee -dee -dee. So, guys, it's going pretty well so far. I've got one little shiner. It's a really shallow uh, water on the north side of uh, home this afternoon. Sorry about if there's any wind noise as well, guys. We're uh, literally fishing head hard into it. But uh, yeah, we're just going to keep slowly waking, making our way around the island and hopefully get you a few more of these beautiful uh, fish. Is that one fast, the Savage Gear V2? Never failed to catch. I only went tits up then. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see when we get over there, guys. Hopefully, to get that monster. There we are, guys. This is the kind of uh, area we're fishing for the bass. Really uh, snaggy, weedy, rocky ground. The bass absolutely love this kind of area. You'll find them in probably a uh, foot or two of water around this area. They're not deep uh, feeding, they'll be really close in. So yeah, you haven't got to be deep for the bass. So guys, we're on to the next mark now. I say it's just moving, moving, moving to try and find the bass. If you want to be uh, fishing for bass, you've got to be on the move all the time and try and find where the fish are. It's a lot of work, but it pays off when you find the fish. We're fishing a lovely little bay here, full of boulders again, really shallow. I don't there's a bass in here. Come on.
Fish on, guys. Woohoo! Second bass of the day, baby. Tiny, but she's a basil. We're going to hit the water, boom. You'll see with this one, guys, when it comes off, this is definitely a uh, bass that lives on the sand. You see it down there, beautiful. A bit bigger than the last one, and looks like it's been attacked. Wow, which did you see this, guys? This bass has been attacked by either a seal or another fish. I'll just get him up, guys, and I'll get you a better show. So, uh, guys, another little basil. Only tiny, but check that out. Look at the attack marks on that bass. It's been absolutely hammered by something there. Look at that. Either a seal, if anyone knows what they reckon it might be. A seal or another fish, maybe. Well, I'm not sure. Really strange. Been absolutely hammered. Hopefully, it'll go back all right. So yeah, that's two bass down there, guys. We're starting to find them. So yeah, we're gonna get a release of this one and hopefully get a few more. So uh, guys, one last little show of it. I say, if anyone's got any idea, I reckon it's a seal maybe. I said I swipe a bit, but if anyone's got anything in the comments, leave it in there. I'd love to know, hopefully it goes back safely. Only a small fish. So he's gone off. Just down there, cruiser. Can you see him? There he is, uh, on his way out. Happy day, you think? You can get another one. There we are, Kieran's just changed over. It's giving him a savage gear there. And first chock, bang, he's in. Yeah, exactly the same as what I had before. Happy days. Any size? Another little dynamite. Still a bass, though. You can tell the colour of them. They're uh, really silver. They're living on the sand. Happy days. You're off the mark and he's just come off. <laughs> and off he goes down there, guys. There. Catch and release that one. Three bass down. Here we are. Back to back cast. Kieran's in again. That hit. Rocky, maybe. Or a bass. Oh, no. Basil. Another bass. Two casts, two bass. Happy days. That's a bit better. Lovely job. There you are. Two casts for Kieran. Changing over the Savage Gear V2 in green. And boom, two bass. Happy days. Lovely little fish. Only small, but good fun. Get a release of it. Off he goes. Happy days. Four bass down. Check this out, guys, for paradise. That tide is pouring. That's for sure, eh? Taking it much better than this. Check that out, guys. If anyone knows what that is, leave in the comments. It does that? It's like, yeah, it's like a bloody missile or something, eh? Yeah. Weird. Well, guys, come to the end of the session now. So, having a few more chocks here. See if we can get one more bass. Four bass in total today. It'd be nice to christen it with one more, but they're not so beautiful, nonetheless. So, yeah. Lovely area we're fishing here. Nice and kelpy. Quite deep though, but you never know. There we are guys, okay, let's check out all the oyster beds over here. For as far as you can see, it's oyster beds. And all these are in uh, different sizes. You've got small to big where the end, uh, the rod is, where Kieran is. And yeah, all these, none of these actually, funnily enough, get eaten over here in Herm. They're all shipped off either to Guernsey or around the world, really. So yeah, pretty cool. So guys, we're right back in Guernsey now. 
fun little trip we had out there today. We had these four bass over in Herb Island. So yeah, it's nice to get off the island and go somewhere different in the Channel Islands. And uh, yeah, Kieran came along, so a big thanks to him for coming out. So we had two bass each on the uh, Savage Gear V2s. So he uh, swapped his lower over and I uh, tried the V2 that I had and boom, straight away, back to back fish. So yeah, crack a little uh, session. Lovely weather, a bit cold, but you can't uh, take it all in April, eh? But uh, yeah, if you enjoy this, guys, if you can hit the like button, uh, subscribe, share on all platforms, that'd be awesome. And uh, if anyone's got any comments on these, but that bass had the bite marks out of it, if anyone knows what it could have been, I reckon it might have been a seal or something like that, but it looked like it had teeth marks, but uh, yeah, if anyone knows. And that missile kind of um, thing we had, we found on Shell Beach, if anyone knows that could be, that'd be awesome as well. So yeah, cheers guys for watching, and we'll catch you really soon in the next one. Thanks very much.